get ready for the dictation start madam speaker to promote the make in india initiative we have undertaken rationalization of customs duties and procedures our government has abolished duties on 36 capital goods a revised system of importing duty free capital goods and inputs for manufacture and export has been introduced along with introduction of single point of approval under section 65 of the customs act indian customs is introducing full and comprehensive digitalization of export oblique import transactions and leveraging rfid technology to improve export logistics our government is committed to eliminating the ills of black money from our country the anti black money measures taken by us during the last 4 and 1/2 years in the form of black money law the fugitive criminal offenders act and demonetization have brought undisclosed income of about rupees 1.30 thousand crore to tax led to seizure and attachment of assets worth approximately rupees 50000 crore and compelled holders of large cash currency to disclose their source of earnings during this period benami assets worth rupees 6900 crore and foreign assets worth rupees 1600 crore have been attached as many as over 3 lakh shell companies have been detected and deregistered and their directors disqualified growth of 18% in direct tax collection in 2017-18 and increase in tax base by as many as 1.06 crore people filing income tax returns for the first time in 2017-18 is mainly on account of demonetization madam speaker the nda government headed by honorable prime minister has laid the foundation for india's growth and development for times to come we have resolved many problems which were coming in the way of realizing our full potential as a society and an economy we are poised to become a 5 trillion dollar dollar economy in the next 5 years and aspire to become a 10 trillion dollar economy in the next 8 years thereafter in the indian ethos anything which is good is supposed to bestow cause create and do good in all 10 directions i will therefore lay out our vision for 10 most important dimensions in 2013 The first dimension of this vision will be to build physical as well as social infrastructure for a 10 trillion dollar economy and to provide ease of living. It will comprise next generation infrastructure of roads etc. The second dimension of our vision is to create a digital India reaching every sector of the economy. every corner of the country and impacting the life of all indians digital infrastructure and digital economy of 2030 will be built upon the successes achieved in recent years in digitization of government processes and private transactions our youth will lead us in this endeavor with innumerable startups creating digital india and millions of jobs in this ecosystem making india a pollution free nation with green mother earth 
एंड ब्लू स्काइज इज द थर्ड डायमेंशन ऑफ आर विजन दिस इंडिया विल ड्राइव ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स विथ रिन्यूएबल्स बिकमिंग अ मेजर सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सप्लाई इंडिया विल लीड द वर्ल्ड इन द ट्रांसपोर्ट रिवोल्यूशन थ्रू इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स एंड एनर्जी स्टोरेज डिवाइसेज ब्रिंगिंग डाउन इम्पोर्ट डिपेंडेंस एंड इंश्योरिंग एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी फॉर आर पीपल एक्सपेंडिंग रूरल इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन यूजिंग मॉडर्न डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजीज टू जनरेट मैसिव एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज द फोर्थ डायमेंसन ऑफ आर विजन दिस विल बी बिल्ट अपॉन द मेक इन इंडिया अप्रोच टू डेवलप ग्रास रूट्स लेवल क्लस्टर्स structures and mechanisms encompassing the msmes village industries and startups spread in every nook and corner of the country india is now on the way to becoming a global manufacturing hub in various sectors including automobiles and electronics defense and medical devices our rivers and water bodies are our life supporting assets our government has worked vigorously for cleaning river ganga fifth dimension of our vision for india of 2030 is clean rivers with safe drinking water to all indians sustaining and nourishing life and efficient use of water in irrigation using micro irrigation techniques india's long coastline has the potential of becoming the strength of the economy particularly through exploitation of the blue economy to ensure better standards and quality of life for a large number of people living in the coastal areas our efforts in the sagarmala program will be scaled up and we will develop other inland waterways faster our coastline and our ocean waters powering india's development and growth is the sixth dimension of our vision the seventh dimension of our vision aims at the outer skies our space program gaganyaan india becoming the launch pad of satellites for the world and placing an indian astronaut into space by 2022 reflect this dimension of our vision making india self sufficient in food exporting to the world to meet their food needs and producing food in the most organic way in the eighth dimension of our vision high farm production and productivity will be achieved through focused attention stop